Hi, welcome to the 10x Dev channel. So, since this is the very first video, I'm going to explain the reason why I created this channel. So, I'm going to introduce practical and pragmatic way of learning for everyone. Okay, let's start with our first topic. Entering the industry with zero knowledge. Let's admit it. Sometimes you can leave the academy without actually learning anything. But what can you expect when entering the software development industry when you're not confident enough on your skills? Let's imagine a theoretical person who got into the industry without enough knowledge. Let's call him Jerry. Jerry got a job at a software development house. So this is a company that has clients whom they develop software for. So Jerry knows that he doesn't have enough skills for this job, but got it anyways. He started asking co-workers what are the required knowledge to do the job effectively. He learned things both on his own and by the help of his team. He survived being a noob developer and became a decent developer as he gains experience. But what skills and knowledge are required to make you a legit developer. So, how do you begin learning? What steps to do first? There are three things you need. Technical skills, software skills, and mind frame. So, let's start with the technical skills. First, you must pick your platform. Well, the common ones are mobile, web front end, and web back end. So, I'm primarily a mobile developer, so if you're going with a mobile developer platform, I'll be the one teaching you. But for the web, front end and back end, we're going to have guests in the future. So know and be comfortable with at least one or two programming languages. You might say that, yes, I know at least one or two programming languages, but do you really know them? Remember that the syntax is the trivial part of learning a programming language. Syntax is easy to learn once you have a foundation. A lot of programming languages are not that different. Knowledge of data types and object-oriented principles and design patterns doesn't change, no matter what you do in the field. Another technical skill is version control. Well, this might sound crazy for the people in the, in the industry, but version control isn't even taught in school. I mean, that's absurd, right? Every software development company uses version control one way or another. So you absolutely 101% need to learn about version control before entering the industry. The majority of companies use Git. Well, you might have heard of GitHub, which is an online Git repository. I would explain on a later video the difference between Git and an online repository service. Let's move on to the soft skills that you need to learn in order to become a legit developer. First, you must learn how to learn. When trying to learn something related to programming, always look at the official documentation. Instead of going to Google, Stack Overflow, or even a subreddit, you must first try to take a look at the official documentation. Why? because external links and tutorials might be outdated. What's the chances that other tutorials are more complete than the official one? When you watch video tutorials, you are just following or copying what the person does. You don't really learn any of the underlying concepts of what he does. Remember that when you do things, you must always ask why does he do this? Because it is very important to learn the underlying concepts of these tutorials and why they do things a certain way. Another soft skill that you need to learn is to learn to accept criticism. Everybody makes mistakes. That's why you have a senior developer to guide you through the learning process. And accept the fact that you make mistakes and learn from them. Let's move on to the third one. This is the mind frame that you need to have. So. Learn as you go along. You don't know everything yet, but you're learning, so keep it up. Sometimes, it's easy to drown or be overwhelmed by the things that you have to catch up. 
So just take it slow. You don't really need to know everything right away anyways. So the important thing is to start learning and to start now, not later. So that's it for today. If you like this video, hit the like and subscribe button. See you next time. Bye.